Uh, when I was growing up as a kid, I despised hamburgers. I actually never ate them until I was about 18 years old. And uh, because of it, I grew up in Texas, and it was all, we always had burgers, but it was always at a barbecue. So I always went for the brisket or the ribs, being a smart, the smart little boy that I was. So I never went to the, I never went after the hamburgers. And so most of that, my hamburger association was McDonald's or Burger King, and they always made me very ill, and I never liked them. When I finally started cooking and moved to Santa Fe, uh, people were like, you know, you've got to try the burger, the tortilla burger. I'm like, I don't eat hamburgers, I don't eat hamburgers. And finally, somebody talked me into a tortilla burger, and it was love at first bite, I guess. <laughs> Um, I look for the density of color. The, um, the, I use a Serrano chili, which has a little bit more spice to it. I like a little bit of red on it. Um, when I do the Anaheims, I like them a little bit lighter green. And when I do the Poblanos, I like them to be a very dark green. Um, I would say the key thing to making any hamburger is to patty it like you would a meatball and then pat it out flat. Most people just kind of crump it up and what ends up happening is it gets crumbly. If they pat it out and if they roll it like a meatball and pat it back and forth into their hands, it gets denser and gets more packed and then you can cook it to a better temperature and when you take a bite it won't fall apart. This is the New Mexico, uh, the New Mexico green chili slider. Uh, basically what I do is I take uh, three portions meat. The first portion is going to be uh, half beef. The second portion is going to be one uh, one part uh, New Mexico ground yak, the other part is going to be New Mexico ground buffalo. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get those mixed together so they're nice and homogenous and so. We're going to add, uh, we have our three kinds of chili here. We have our poblanos, we have our anaheims, and our serrano chilies. They've already been roasted, peeled, and de-seeded. So we're going to add those in. And we're going to take our roasted garlic with a little bit of roasted garlic oil. We're going to add that in. We're going to add a little bit of fresh thyme, salt, cracked black pepper, and a little bit of Worcestershire. Uh, to me, the reason I add the Worcestershire is because it's going to give it a nice steak kind of flavor, the, the kind that actually makes you think you're eating ground steak, that you're not actually eating a, a hamburger. And it's really important to me to be able to, to have those flavors together. Um, growing up in Texas, we used lots and lots of Worcestershire and lots of uh, you know, A1 sauce and things like that. But after being in New Mexico for 25 years, I've kind of gotten away from the A1 sauce, but I definitely still like the Worcestershire. So we're going to mix all that together. And what I like to do is I'll let this sit in the refrigerator and I'll marinate it for about two hours. Um, and that two hours is going to let those, all those flavors really sink into the meat so that when you cook it, you get the even, even flavor all the way through. So what I've done is I've already patted up a couple of extra ones. And um, as a, a style that I've come accustomed to, the, uh, I tend to uh, use a flat top or, an, or a pan more than I do a grill. I find that the grill, what happens is a lot of your... Uh, a lot of your fats, your essential fats, drip out. Next, we're going to take our New Mexico torta buns. Take a little bit of butter. Just kind of smear it on, not too much, just to keep the bread nice and moist. I'm just going to go drop these in the other pan. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to prepare our stacks. So what we do, Take our lettuce, tomato, and pickle. A nice little skewer in them. And after much discussion, we decided that we needed even more green chili. So we used some of the autumn roasted bueno green chili that we add directly on top. Next, we'll take a little bit of cheese.